Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and those who are new, welcome to Create You, a place where I'm here to help you be your best you, inspire you to create your best art and give you the courage to live your best life. And today, this very special video, guys, can you believe that it's almost 2020 in less than 24 hours? It is amazing. Another decade is upon us. What are you going to do to make your life and create the life of your dreams this next decade. This particular video, I definitely want to chat a little bit about your goals as an artist. What are your goals this year? What are you planning on doing? What ideas do you have that you have yet to bring out into the world that are still stuck in your heart and in your mind and in your spirit? What are you going to do and how are you going to implement them this coming 2020 year? And I know a lot of people are talking about their goals and their New Year's resolutions. And in all honesty, I don't call the things that I want to accomplish resolutions because there's a stigma that comes with that, that people don't really follow through with it. And so this particular video, I'm showing you the process of one of my goals this year. And my patrons, I actually revamped my whole Patreon and it's now up and running. And that will be in the description box below. But my patrons got to see this particular picture and information before you guys get to see it. Because it, by the time this video comes out, it is the 1st of January. But um, this is a goal of mine, is my Creanimate magazine. Um, every month I'm going to create a new cover once a month. So there's going to be 12 in 2020 and my patrons get to see it first get to help decide and vote on a poll who's going to be on each cover and all that great stuff so this is a goal of mine that i've always wanted to do and just never felt like i could get it done so this is one of my goals and i want to share it with you guys what are your goals this year um, I create a dream board, well, a vision board. I don't call it a dream board. It's a vision board, and I do it digitally via Canva, which is an amazing website. I It does everything from posters, uh, media kits, uh, dream vision, vision boards, and all kinds of stuff. If you don't know, the information will be in the description box below, of course, for you guys to check it out. Um, I use it for everything. But Canva, uh, I do a digital one, um, and it it showcases all of the things that I'm going to accomplish or I'm going to take the steps to accomplish and start moving toward in the year 2020. And I hope you guys uh, do vision boards or have some type of visual that will help you stay focused on your goals as an artist. I definitely want to do my best to work on the things that I know I need to work on, like hands and feet. I need to practice that more and more and more. Perspective, I definitely want, I, I'm very new still to digital art and digital painting. So there's a few classes I wanna take via Skillshare, which I will put in the description below. If you don't know about it, I'm not sponsored by any of these websites as of yet, um, but I do love them and I use them on a regular basis. And I learned so much and I believe that you can get two months free if you go through Skillshare, but definitely check them out if you wanna learn and up your art skills or up any skill really. They have things on digital marketing, on calligraphy, all types of things. And it's people who just love to share their gifts with others, which is pretty awesome. And basically a lot of what this channel is about supporting one another and helping all of our us creators create the life we want to live using the gifts God give, has given us or whoever you believe has given us but um this magazine cover is starfire she's going to ring in the new year and I'm so excited to share this process with you and to show you a little bit of what I'm going to achieve this year there is a lot of important things you can do and ways to help you prepare to ring in the 2020 year in a positive note and a more focused note with and with intention and as an artist and as an artist who doesn't want to just create as a hobby but someone who really wants to create a living 
doing what they love to do, you have to remain consistent and disciplined and determined to get the things that you want and the, the things that you want in your life achieved. So here are some ways that you can possibly do that. One is, of course, creating a vision board. Another way is writing down each goal and the ones that scare you the most. What ones are going to stretch you the most? Because when you're uncomfortable, you're growing. And uncomfortability is a good thing, not a bad thing. And human nature causes us to want to run away from being uncomfortable. But it's what makes us uncomfortable that makes us better and helps us grow. So write down the goal that you want to achieve that may be massive and you don't know exactly how you're going to achieve it. It's okay. Write down the feelings that you feel and then say, you know what, I'm okay with being uncomfortable. And then write down the thing, the things that if you achieve this goal, the positive ways it'll change your life. What things and what ways is that goal going to change your life? And remember and dwell in those feelings and meditate. Meditate a little bit. Meditating is another way to help with self-care. And that's one of my goals this year is to take better care of myself, whether it's that physically, emotionally, and mentally, is just to do better with my self-care because I'm important. If I don't take care of myself, I can't be a better me and I can't be a better me for you guys and I can't be a better me for my family and my own and my daughter. So that's important. Another way you can prepare for the 2020 year is to surround yourself with people who are positive, who are loving, who are kind, who are determined about achieving their goals just as much as you are in achieving yours. Because like attracts like. Like Like-minded people hang out with like-minded people. So if you want to be successful in a certain area, try and hang out or listen to people who are successful successful in that area and pick up those habits pick up the things that you know you don't do well in that you can do better and other ways you can start off the 2020 year in a positive note is taking time to reflect on past years and write down things that you didn't do years ago or even last year that you can improve on this year and take small steps People think that in life you have to do major changes to make a difference in your life or change the the trajectory, sorry I can't speak today, of their life. No, it's just small, tiny changes that can literally change your life in a major way because the more you do that small change, the more it becomes bigger. So what you focus on grows. So if you focus on creating small positive habits, those things grow into big positive habits and major changes in your life so try doing those things and draw as an artist and as a creator develop your craft the only way that you can master your craft is craft craft goodness gracious I cannot talk today master your craft is doing a lot of it doing it all the time and seeing the things and areas you can improve on and taking classes if you can if you can't Practice as much as you can. Do a little bit every day. And did you know that if you practice an hour a day of another language, in five years you'll be completely fluent and a master in that language? Amazing, right? I know I got to take that in for myself because I'm, I'm learning two languages, starting with Korean. So pray for me. But other than that, I'm so excited to share these small things with you. And I hope that they can change your life and make 2020 the best year yet for you so thank you so much for joining me hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you know every time i upload a new video here is the creanimate cover for 2020 january 1st with starfire i love you guys thank you so much leave your comments down below of what your 2020 year is looking like for you guys i will see you next time class is dismissed You're awesome, and I'll see you in the next year. Love you guys. Peace.